I'm sure that's whetted the appetite a bit. The greatest show in World Arts, and this year it's bigger and better than ever. The 25th staging of the William Hill World Arts Championship. It marks the end of Phil Taylor's long and glorious career. Could he end it on a high and claim the lion's share of, get this, £1.8 million in prize money? Join me to conduct the draw. PDC Chairman Barry Hearn, former World Championship semi finalist, current Sky Sports commentator. Be here for a long time, Wayne. <laughs> Can Phil Taylor end his amazing career on a high and, and win this Sid Waddell trophy? Well, it's, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. I mean, we wrote him off before the world match play. He came through the field and retained his world match play crown, which was an amazing achievement. He's going to find it tough because we've got 72 of the best dart players in the world, but you write off Phil Taylor at your peril. Michael Van Guren, the bookie's favourite, to retain his crown. Is he the man to beat? He is the man to beat, yeah. But as, as Barry said, there's so much quality there that, look, Michael's come unstuck, unstuck before. He's only won it twice. He's, he's not this, this winning machine in the World Championships that people think. Uh, he's one of those players that is playing the best darts of, of anyone right now and probably some of the best darts that we've ever seen. Don't count out Phil Taylor, Gary Anderson. Adrian Lewis is coming back to a bit of form, which is nice. There's some household names that are not playing particularly well, like your James Wade, Dave Chisnells but we've also got your Gurneys and Mensur Sulevic. They're going to have a lot to say for themselves. Cast your eye over the odds, both of you, and, and just pick out a bit of value for us. Where's the, where's the value, Barry? Well, I mean, it's four to five might be the best value you've ever seen for a favourite like Michael Van Gerwen, who's won the last three events. What, £312,500 in three weeks, Wayne? You have to work a, you have to work Look, a month for that, I at least. I out of bed for that. But, you know, I look down and see, you know, I think Rob Cross at nine to one, maybe. But then you go for someone who's proven. And if you want a little outside bet, I'd be looking at Adrian Lewis, Raymond Van Barnveld. 40s and 50 to one for players of that calibre. You don't often see those type of prices. But at the end of the day, we could be sitting here in a month's time saying, well, Van Gerwen, wasn't that's, it easy? That's where the wise money's going. What about the not so wise money? Wayne, where, where's your money going? <laughs> <laughs> I've already plunged some money on Phil Taylor's head because it's that fairy tale for me. It's, I, I, I actually think he's going to really struggle to win it. I really do because the composure under pressure is sometimes he fails in the set format. But look, if he wins it, I want part of it. I want to be part of him winning. <laughs> and I think my 35 pence on his head <laughs> at 20 to 1 at one point, which was, it's ludicrous odds for him. 20 to 1, look, that'll do for me. But look, like I've said before, I'm, I'm a Michael Van Gerwen fan. I, I think that man is purely different class, and if he plays well, he wins. You're going to be drawing the seeded players? Yep. You're going to be drawing the non seed Just get in there and, and have a stir round so it's all fair. Barry stirring things up, never. <laughs> so unusual. Right, Barry, first, first one out of the hat. Who's it going to be? Good luck, everybody. This is the big one. First player out is number 22. That's Mervyn King, two-time Lakeside Championship finalist. Number 39. Number 39 is Zoran Lurchbacker from Austria, making his third World Championship appearance. Number eight. Number eight is Dave Chizzy Chisnell, former World Grand Prix finalist. He'll be playing number 34. 34 is Vincent van der Voort from the Netherlands. Oh. Good match, Dan. Yeah, quick. Number 19. No, 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 19 is Joe Cullen, former postman from Bradford. Playing really good darts at the moment. He is indeed. Number 37. Number 37 is Jermaine Watamina from the Netherlands, making his fourth World Championship appearance. Number one. Mighty Michael Van Gogh in the reigning champion, two-time champion of the world, the bookie's favourite to lift this crown. I can't believe how nervous I am for a draw. <laughs> What's going on? 
Number 35. 35 is Christian Kist, former Lakeside champion. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant draw that. Sorry, Christian. Two Dutch guys together. Number 11 is James Way, three-time World Championship semi-finalist. Number 42. 42 is Keegan Brown, former World Youth Champion. Number 25. Is Steve Beaton, the bronze Adonis, former BDO World Champion. Played well in the Players' Championship of the weekend. He always plays well. <laughs> we love him. He's playing number 50. Number 50 is William O'Connor. Irish match play winner, World Championship debut. He yeah. also played very well last yeah. week. Yeah, he's improving. Number 15. Alan Norris, former Lakeside Championship finalist. 52. 52 is Kim Viljanen of Finland, Nordic and Baltic, Baltic champion. Number 20. Number 20 is Rob Cross. Rapidly rising up the rankings. Rapidly. What an understatement. <laughs> what a story. Number 61. 61 is Sega Sada of Japan or Gordon Matters of Australia. Number 24 is Kyle Anderson, Auckland Darts Masters champion. 44. Peter Jacks of England making his World Championship debut. Number seven. Number seven is Adrian Lewis, two-time World Champion. 2011-2012, he won the title. He did. Number 64. 64 is Alexander Ruskin of Russia or Kevin Munch of Germany. The Ruskin's a danger. Unusual throwing action. Yes. Number 13, Michael Smith, Premier League star a couple of years ago, former World Youth Champion. 47. 47 is Steve Lennon making his World Championship debut. That is a good match. He can play. That's a good match. Number four, Daryl Gurney, 2017 World Grand Prix Champion. Thirty-six. Thirty-six is Ronnie Hybrex of Belgium, former World Cup finalist. Number two. Peter Snakebite Wright, here of Mohican fame. <laughs> Could it be Peter's year? Fifty-four. Marco Cantella. Sorry, Diego Portella of... Uh, Diego Portella from Brazil. Yeah, Brazil, yeah. The first Brazilian qualifier we've ever had. He's playing well as well. Number 28. 28 is Robert Thornton of Scotland. Robert will be playing 58. 58 is Alan Lubic of Croatia or Brendan Dolan of Northern Ireland. Number 12. Number 12 is Jella Klassen, former Lakeside champion. He'll be playing number 41. 41 is Jan Decker, two-time mm. Lakeside semi-finalist. Two young, young Dutch men. Number 10. Number 10 is Simon Whitlock, former World Championship finalist. Number 45 is Martin Schindler of Germany. Good game. Good game. Number 16. Number 16 is Gerwin Price, UK Open finalist. Playing well, Gerwin. He'll be playing number 56. 56 is the PDPA qualifier, Ted Everts of England. That's a good match. Good young prospect. Yeah. Number 31 is Johnny Clayton, Players' Championship finalist, runner-up. Played really well. Number 60. Number 60 is Kenny Nymus of 
Belgium or PDA, PDPA qualified Jamie Lewis of Wales. Number 32. 32 is James Wilson, former BDO trophy winner. Hitting 180s for fun, James, at the moment. Number 51. 51 is Christoph Rodatsky of Poland, making his World Championship debut. Indeed. World Masters winner. 27. 27 is Justin Pike, four-time TV semi-finalist. The force be with you. <laughs> I'm with you, Barry. 59. 59 is Zhou Chen Zong of China or Bernie Smith of New Zealand. Number 26. 26 is Cristo Reyes, Spanish number one. For those not drawn out yet, it's agony. It's agony. <laughs> Taylor's still in there somewhere. <laughs> 53. 53 is Antonio Alcinas oh. making his third World Championship appearance. Number 23. 23 is Darren Webster, World Championship quarter finalist of a couple of years ago. Danger well, to anyone. A good year he's having. 49. 49 is Devon Peterson, oh, South Africa. Devin. Number 30. Number 30 is Mark Webster, 2008 BDO World Champion. Mark will be playing. Number 62. 62 is Kai Fan Lung of Hong Kong or Paul Lim. Mm. Never underestimate Limmy. Number 17. 17 is Ian White. Always difficult to beat. Number 63. 63 is Willard Brugier of the USA or Cody Harris of New Zealand. The policeman from Indianapolis, Willard Brugier. Great story. Number 18. Number 18 is Kim Hybrex. Kim will be playing. Number 43. 43 is James Richardson making his third World Championship appearance. You sure Phil hasn't retired already? <laughs> <laughs> Number 29. Number 29 is Big John Henderson. World Grand Prix semi finalist of course. 55. 55 is Jamie Lewis. Marco Cantella. Finished player. Number 6. Phil the Power Taylor, 16 time champion of the world. Goodbye after this year. <laughs> yeah. This person could be the last person to play Phil in the World Championships. Number 46. 46 is Chris Doby. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Of England, reached round two of the World Championship debut last year. One of the best young players on the circuit. Really good That's an interesting first round game. Yeah. Pick of the round so far. Yeah. Number five. Number five is Mensur Sulevic. Champions League winner this year. Be gentle. No, no one wants to play him, no one. <laughs> Number 48. 48 is Kevin Painter. Oh. Tough first round draw for Kevin. <laughs> yeah, could be tough for Mensur as well. There's no easy draws. 21. 21 is Stephen Bunting. 2014 BDO World Champion. Getting back to his best. I Showing think. some I form, yeah. yeah. Number 40. Number 40 is Dimitri Vandenberg, the new World Youth Champion. Wow, that's, that's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really guilty. <laughs> it doesn't get easier. 14. 14 is Benito van der Pass, two-time World Grand Prix quarter-finalist. Capable, Big very fan. capable. 38. 38 is Steve West, second World Championship appearance for him. He can play. He can indeed, yeah. I don't think we have had the Flying Scotsman out yet, have we? No. This might be it then. <laughs> Number three. You got it. Gary Anderson, two-time world champion, 2015-2016. Well, I should have just the two left I have, which is pleasing. Number 57. 57 is Jeff Smith of Canada or Luke Humphreys of England. Jeff Smith's a top BDO player. Yeah. 
Luke the Humphrey. Last Luke one, Barry. Humphrey. Hopefully you can find it in there. Number nine. Number nine is Raymond Van Barneveld, five-time champion of the world. Last. Hopefully there's one left in there. There is, there is, which is, which is most, <laughs> most pleasing. Number 33. Richard North making his world championship wow. debut from England. Well Fascinating done. draw. Well, I mean, it doesn't get any easier. Some of the names some of the viewers may not be aware of, but we know the global stage. Yeah. These guys are smelling £400,000 of prize money to a winner. 1.8 million overall. Uh, this is what Christmas is all about, but this is a life-changing moment for a lot of these players. And some of the youngsters in particular that came out there, yeah. you know, they're really going to be asking some serious questions of their, of their heroes from the past. Two weeks to go. Christmas isn't Christmas without the darts. It's, it's going to be special. No, who cares about Christmas and Christmas? It's all, it's all about darts. That's all it is. Look, it's one of those where the, the players... The players just want to get through that first round. It's not to relax and enjoy Christmas. It's because most of them will have a week off. You don't want to go out. You don't want to go out early before other people have played. You feel like you're not even part of it. You want to get through that first round and then really get your kind of game head on. The tournament starts again and then you, you kick on. But there's some, there's some horrible ones there. The, the Phil and Phil Chris, Chris Dobie. Yeah. And the short format in that first round is when the nerves really kick in. You know, all these great players are so much better over longer distance, obviously, because class does come through. But I tell you, pre-Christmas, as Wayne says, when you're thinking about, I don't really want to have my turkey, knowing that I haven't got nothing else to do after Christmas, the pressure's on you. And some of these matches with players with nothing to lose, chasing a big reputation and a chance to make their name over a short distance, they're dangerous. Van Gogh against Christian Kiss stands out. Battle of world champions. It is, but it's come at a real bad time for Christian. He's kind of hanging on to his, to his darting world. He's, he's absolutely riddled with arthritis. It's a, it's a great draw for Michael Van Gogh. I mean, without, no disrespect to Christian, but he's, he's struggling to play. He really is. But the one I'm looking forward to is because this man, and that's Kevin Painter. Mm. Uh, if he could pull off a, a shock, it would be a shock, and beat Mensur Sulevic. Mensur, we know, has been brilliant this year. And sort of last two years, Kevin could reignite his career with that one game. Just that one game. Mm. So you've got people dropping out, people wanting to get there, people staying there. Everyone's got a backstory, but Kevin, that could set him up. Wayne, Barry, thanks for your company. Fascinating draw. More reaction throughout the evening here on Sky Sports News. Stay tuned. Thanks very much, guys. Well, the World Darts Championship is live on Sky Sports. Coverage starts on December the 14th with the final on New Year's Day. Now, a big London derby is underway. Queen's Park Rangers up against Brentford. It's live now on Sky Sports. Football will bring in the goals as they go in. That's on Sky Sports News. Too high.